all the halachos of Tisha B'Av make perfect sense. We don't eat, we don't drink, we don't anoint ourselves with lotion. And the reason is, is because all these physical pleasures distract us from the destruction of the Beis HaMikdash. Our focus has to be on the loss of the Beis HaMikdash. But there's one halacha that's very peculiar, that's very, very strange. The Shulchan Aruch tells us that we're not allowed to inquire about our friend. The Mishnah Baruch comments, we can't say for Safra Tov, good morning to our friend. Very difficult to digest. After all, the Gemara tells us that the Beis HaMikdash was destroyed because of Sinas Chinam. I would think that the halacha would require and mandate that we come and offer our well wishes to our friends today. Perhaps, and that will be the, the reason for the rebuilding of the Beis HaMikdash. And yet, we're told to refrain. It seems to be a distortion. It seems to be odd. In lieu of the fact that the Beis HaMikdash was destroyed because of our Sinas Chinam. My dear friends, we see from here that saying good morning to our friends when we see them is not going to rebuild the Beis HaMikdash. But what will build, rebuild the Beis HaMikdash is when we don't see our friend. Are we thinking about them? Are we anticipating what they need? Are we bavorning their, their issues in life? When we're not seeing our Chaveirim, are we consumed with their well-being? If we are, and we can answer that question in the affirmative, that will ultimately rebuild the Beis HaMikdash. Let us think about our friends when we don't see them. Letting, let us inquire about their well-being. Let us call them up and say, we haven't seen you in a while. I miss you, is everything okay? That type of relationship, that type of interaction, that will ultimately be what will rebuild the Beis HaMikdash.